With the onset of monsoons in Mumbai, the city is overcome with blossoming trees and greenery. It was during the rainy month of June that I made my way towards the Elephanta Caves. Hi, my name is Srishti Kumar and I'm a student of Liberal Arts and Humanities at OP Jindal University. The topic for my video today is the Elephanta Caves of the Gharapuri Islands. The reason I chose these caves is because of the intricate carvings and the stories that each of these statues hold. Join me as we journey through a few of these stories today. A long ferry ride away from the busy and buzzing city of Mumbai, I had to cross choppy waters, hike through the mountains and walk through a long line of shops before I arrived at the caves. The numerous tall and detailed statues of the cave take us through the story of the Hindu god Shiva. What fascinated me the most was the intricate carvings and detailings of each of these statues and the elaborate stories that each of them narrate. With each tale picked up from the Upanishads, these sculptures depict a very lively recreation of the stories that have long been the essence of Hindu mythology. The largest cave, cave number one, is placed right at the entrance. The sculptures in this cave are perhaps the most well-preserved and the most expressive ones beginning with the one that depicts Shiva bearing the river goddess Ganga. A particularly fascinating episode from the Puranas, this story depicts the event when Shiva agreed to let the river goddess Ganga descend upon earth. Since the force of the river would shatter the earth into pieces, Shiva agreed to let the goddess flow through his jatas and then onto the earth. If you look closely, you will notice Shiva's right hand extending towards his matted hair signalling that he is ready to receive the river goddess. And above his head, you can observe the three-headed Ganga who has already arrived. Meanwhile, standing to the left of Shiva, his wife Parvati sways slightly away from him, probably to express her jealousy towards another goddess who is making her way into her husband's tresses. Although much of it is damaged now, one can observe that Shiva, as though sensing her jealousy, puts his left rear arm towards her in an attempt to comfort her. Another intriguing sculpture in this cave is the one depicting a furious Shiva impaling the demon Andhaka, also known as the Andhaka Suravad. This mythological tale narrates the gruesome death of the demon Andhaka. Andhaka fell in love with Parvati and made an attempt to abduct her. A furious Shiva attempted to burn him with his gaze but soon realized that every drop of his blood that touched the ground gave birth to a new monster. As a result, Shiva gathered his blood in a skull cup as is seen in the sculpture, leaving behind an emaciated Andhaka. Another really beautiful episode depicted in the main cave is the Kalyana Sundara, the tale of Shiva and Parvati's marriage. The bride and groom stand in the very centre of the sculpture, their heads inclined towards each other. Although both of Parvati's hands and Shiva's right hand are broken, one can imagine Shiva gently holding Parvati's hand. On Shiva's left hand side, seated at the bottom, is the god Brahma who serves as the officiating priest. On the top, surrounding the young couple are the celestial deities. Undoubtedly, the most dominating image in these caves is that of Sadashiva or the eternal Shiva. Approximately 7 meters in height, this sculpture shows a three-faced Shiva. While the heads on the side are seen only partly, they depict two very important forms of Shiva. The one on the left shows an angry Shiva, the Bhairava, with a twisted moustache, a cruel mouth and an open eye glaring at the cobra in its hand. The one on the right, in stark contrast, depicts a feminine Shiva. With a calm and gentle face, this form of Shiva carries with it a fleshy lower lip, a gentle curve of the hands, which holds a lotus, and peaceful eyes looking at the flower. The central face depicts a peaceful and meditating Shiva. In this manner, the Sadashiva portrays the complexity of Shiva and the inner mystery that lies within him. The rest of the six caves were mostly left unfinished and have been badly damaged and destroyed. The few surviving sculptures are of the Dwarapalas or the celestial gatekeepers which are sadly damaged. The Elephanta Caves, which attract thousands of tourists every year, are more than just a site of pilgrimage. They hold within them the stories from the celestial heaven, 
from Ganga's birth to Shiva and Parvati's marriage the beautifully carved sculptures which have survived the test of time are a testament to the workmanship and skills of the workers of the 5th century